The Large Hadron Collider is the world's largest particle accelerator, with over 16 miles of superconducting magnets that propel and smash subatomic particles like protons at close to the speed of light. Research there has contributed to some of the most important discoveries in particle physics, and also led to the development of one of the best treatments for cancer, proton therapy. Traditional radiation therapy uses X-rays, which are high-energy photons, to knock off electrons and break bonds in replicating DNA. Because cancer cells divide much more frequently than healthy cells, radiation therapy damages them much more severely. Using multiple beams concentrates the dosage on the tumor, but X-rays, like a beam of light traveling through water, continue through the tumor to damage healthy cells. Protons, on the other hand, have mass and charge. So, like a golfer hitting a ball at just the right speed for the perfect shot, protons entering the body at the right speed only deliver radiation to their target tumor. Because protons used in cancer treatment enter the body at two-thirds of the speed of light, they only rarely pull electrons off of DNA and other molecules. But as they're slowed down by their interactions, a positive feedback loop exponentially increases their damage until they slow to a halt. This means that protons do almost all of their damage at a specific depth, called the Bragg peak, which varies with the proton's initial velocity. Compare this to the damage done by X-rays across the body. In order to get protons to the necessary speed, they're accelerated with a device called a synchrotron, basically a mini version of the Large Hadron Collider, in which powerful electromagnets generate fields that accelerate the protons in a loop. The protons are then released and precisely directed into a patient. In the US, 44 hospitals have already implemented this technology, serving 15,000 patients per year, including my grandfather. Thanks to particle physics and the Large Hadron Collider, my grandfather was cured of cancer using proton therapy.